Good morning, Mountain Bikers. I'm Chris Wessels, this is my son Garen, and you are watching MTB Trail Review. Today, I'm going to bring you my top three intermediate mountain bike rides in San Diego County. Some of you may disagree with some of my rides. Tell me about it in the comments. This was a tough choice. Enjoy the rides. There is a wealth of intermediate level trails within San Diego County, and that made this list extremely difficult to compile. I think I left several trails out of my top three that a lot of people would argue are in theirs, but these are my three. So before I get into it, why did I choose these ones? Well, I chose them for a few reasons. Number one, they're all part of a larger trail system, and I'm going to name the trail system as well as the trail, but unlike my beginner videos, within these trail systems, you will find beginner, intermediate, and advanced trails alike, and it's possible to link them all up. It's also possible to just loop the intermediate trails. I also chose these three specifically because they are excellent places to progress. They will help you with your technical skills. They all have various levels of features that are all optional and they all have a little bit of speed, which is great as an intermediate rider. Here are my top three intermediate trails in the San Diego area. Coming in at number three, we have the relatively unknown Wrights Field in Alpine, California. I love this area. If you're gonna go out here, don't expect to get miles, don't expect to get elevation, but expect to get a good variety of trails. I chose this place specifically because not only does it have some really fun, technical, punchy downhills, where you can choose various different lines as you can see here, but it also has three lines that have lots of really cool rock features that are a good introduction to just a different type of riding. This is a place that has lots of big boulders and slabs that you can kind of play around on, draw different lines, and challenge yourself at whatever your ability level is and then progress further. This is one of my favorite lines it writes, and it's a great example of exactly what I was just talking about, where there's lots of different rock rolls and rock slabs that you can play on. You can start working on your technical skills and just get introduced to a different style of writing if you're not used to writing on rocks. So, if you have not been out to writes, it's definitely worth the drive. Just go with the right expectations. Don't expect a bunch of miles, don't expect a bunch of elevation, but do expect some challenges and be prepared to get creative and do some exploring. <laughs> yeah. Coming in at number two, we have E-Ticket which is part of Mission Trails, and it's kind of tucked away in the back, which is one of the reasons why it's at number two and not at the top. This trail is so much fun, and it has a good mix of flow, it has some great firms, but it also has some technical sections at the bottom, so it gives you a little bit of everything. There's also a couple of optional features on it, I believe there's a rock drop as well as a small jump. And you can draw several different lines. Not quite as many as you can in a place like Wrights. But each time you ride e-ticket, there are different lines you can take. And each one will be a different challenge. This is a great trail to get comfortable at higher speeds. And it's one of the best trails around to work on your cornering. Now, the one big downside to this trail is it is not super accessible. You have to pedal a lot of fire road in order to get here. Then you have to make the climb out. That said, you can still do laps on this trail. 
whenever I ride it, I end up doing two or three. So it's still very, very approachable. It's still lappable. There's just not that much else in the area that makes it worth going out. Thanks to see the sign. As you make your way down the trail, you'll come across the small jump into one of the fastest sections that has lots of optional step downs where you can roll or you can start trying to launch them. After you get past this, then you'll get into the rock garden where you can draw several different lines and it's a lot of fun to practice your technical riding at higher speeds. If you have not been to e-ticket in Mission Trails and you consider yourself to be an intermediate rider or if you're just looking for some more intermediate trails, you should definitely add this one to your list and go check it out. Coming in at number one, we have Mount Laguna. And I'm thinking of two trails specifically on Mount Laguna that are perfect for intermediate riders. This one here is Los Gatos. This trail is so much fun. Anybody can have a blast on this trail. Whether you're intermediate, advanced, expert, pro, I don't care. This trail is a blast. It's loaded with optional features. There's skinnies, there's rock jumps, rock drops. There is, I don't even know what to call it. A newer feature that's not in this video, but a big rock roll that honestly scared the crap out of me. So this trail is really, really good for people looking to progress. Oh, this is way better too. Especially if you're at a stage in your progression where you're trying to get airborne and some semi-natural trail features. This trail is also fast, pretty flowy, and it finishes with a really nice technical section, along with a couple rock gardens leading up to it. If you want to lap Los Gatos, it's not hard. There's a pretty, well, I shouldn't say quick and easy, but a pretty accessible, semi-difficult climb that'll get you back to the top, and it'll also give you an incredible workout. Go ride it if you haven't. link Los Gatos up to Upper Noble. And while Upper Noble is technically part of a black trail, this section specifically, in my opinion, should be rated as a blue. It's definitely fast, but it has some really, really fun turns. It has some great features that are all approachable. And this trail is just fun. If you've watched my videos in the past, you've seen me ride this several times. And I think every single time I ride it, I, I say that this is one of my right favorite now. pieces of single track in San Diego County. A bit more grippier than usual. If you have not ridden this trail, nice and trim. do yourself a favor and do it. You can link up you a very nice loop a with Los Gatos, this, and Here's several other trails shape. in the Mount Laguna area that are all in that beginner to intermediate range. <laughs> and there's some advanced sections that you can add in too if you're on that level. So that rounds out my top three intermediate level trails in San Diego County. Now, before I sign off, I'm gonna pass it off to a special guest. My son, Garen, really wants to give you guys a little public announcement before we close out the video. Here he is. Hey guys, make sure to always stay safe on the trail and watch out for snakes, especially when you're biking and hiking. And as always, if you want to see more trails in the San Diego area, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for checking out these trails with us today. We'll see you next time.